52s, but it looks like we're breaking up here. If we test the 5475s, I might take the I'll take the 5475s. We're gonna take the 5550s instead. Long 5552. So we were long at 5550. Our target was 57 for the first contract. We'll see if we can't get filled on the first contract and leave the second contract for the close. The cross trade here uh, was enough for me to make the decision to go ahead and take the 55s, even though that's uh, not, it doesn't look like the best trade location now. Of course, if the market rallies 20 points, it'll look like a great trade location. <laughs> but uh, we'll have to wait to see about that. So uh, right now we uh, have that position that we're going to stay in uh, tight and look for our first target. I don't like this cross trade occurring at 55 and a half either. Um, 2300, 2200, 1400. Um, this is not a good sign for this position. But I'm not prepared to make uh, any arbitrary move either. We know what our stop is. Our stop is 5250 on both contracts. It's a $300 uh, real loss. And uh, that's, that's tolerable. Uh, I mean, it's not. Mistake in trade location to suffer a three point loss, but I mean, it's not catastrophic. But you know, if you could figure out a way to scalp trade that, I mean, it stayed up there, you might have got filled at the 55, 55 uh, and a quarter price when you saw that occur, and then it clicked down to 5450. So, if you're looking for half a point, I can see you could probably get filled, but that, um. You'd have to trade all day long and try to figure out some kind of stop mechanism. I don't know what you would do for a stop. Um, that would be uh, an interesting way to trade, boy. It's like the beyond uh, side saddle doing that. The K period just opened up. Boy, it looks like we might be in trouble in this trade. Yeah, we saw that cross trade up there at the 5550s. 52, 5250s are stop. There it is, 5250. Now, the question is, is that the uh, shakeout? Is that the shakeout? We're getting closer to that area that um, we had talked about, 50, uh, 52. 52 is the area, there's cross trade down, and we're going to take the 5350s. Long 250, 350. 52. 50, high 51s to 52 is the area. The high 52s was the area that broke the market up to the 59.75s. So that should be support. K period. Um, K period here needs to return back to the cluster at 58. If it breaks below uh, 52. I'm out. I don't even know if I'll even wait for three points. I'll be out of the market. I'm going to run the video here. It needs to hold above that 52.50, 52.75 cross trade. We see, we see ass volume here. Can't break below this 52.50 on any kind of volume. We have initiative at. We have a little bit of uh, ass volume. We need to get that initiative building now. Then we had a little initiative uh, activity, so the 5250s, 5225s uh, held on that one. Our three-point stop was down at 5050 on that. I uh, did not want to hold it down at 5050. I, hopefully, I could have got liquidated in the 5150s or 5175s when I saw the volume coming in on the uh, bid. I wasn't tested uh, to execute the trade because it came in on the ass. Uh, but we're we're standing tight here. We're gonna pause video. We're out of the trade of 52.25. Well, 
we're looking for a position uh, here to get back into this trade. I guess we just need to let it consolidate here for a little bit. It's building uh, ass volume here. We're going to take the 5250s. Long 5250. Uh, feels like we're on the wrong side of this trade. Uh, I don't know. This, uh, if we don't break over to 53s, we're going to seriously consider liquidating these 5250s. I'm not going to bring them below 52. At 1968 here, before it goes off the chart, has to hold at the 52s. And we don't see any uh, sequentially higher prices at the ask here on this uptick to the 53 uh, and change. But we do see him hitting the bid. Alright, I'm out of this trade here. Uh, if we go any lower than that 1968. Then the question is, do we uh, attack the 8 period low at 45, the uh, other end of the market? Or is this the final final shake of any uh, week long? All we can do is watch the ask and watch the bid activity here. The 1968's about to go off the chart, so at least on this 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 chart. Two breach right there. We're getting out at the 52 and a quarters. We're out. Boy, it seems I'm trying. I'm getting killed trying to reposition for uh, what I still think is possible toward the end of the end of the day here. I'm gonna stand by and watch the market consolidate. That trade we lost half a point combined. You see some volume building here in the 51s. Man, this is tempting. goes the 51s. We're going to take the 52, 25, 52, 50. It's long, 252, 50. That's where we, uh, where we were long on the last trade, 52, 50. Boy, I'm tempted uh, after getting uh, some losses at the Cape Area low not to sell our typical one contract at a point and a half and uh, let both of these contracts ride into the close. Oh, that, that is really, 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 really tempting. I'm going to do it today. I'm going to do it. Being uh, aware that the last time I uh, tried to attempt something like this didn't work out at all. But, uh, man, it, it feels right. It, it feels right. Now, that could be completely wrong. But um, we have a positive skew on the day, although not by much. Um, we're trading at the low, uh, low end of at value. Uh, so the point of control is higher than us, and uh, we weren't able to breach G's lows, and we have a good amount of uh, buying here passively in the 51, which was the area that took us up to the IHJ period high previously. So, having said that, we're going to see if we can break above the 54s, 55s, and we might implement a trailing stop since we're not going to take our first target. And additionally, with the 5250 entry, it can't break below the 51, 51 and a quarter, 5150 area. That area has to hold where that passive buying uh, brought us up to the 5375s. You know, I redecided um, my previous uh, comment. We're uh, going to take our first target at 54. There were filled at 54, and uh, we're just going to keep one of the pose. I uh, pondered that for a minute, and I think it's more important to be disciplined at this point in my. Uh, curve than uh, just to ride wild, even though uh, I still believe we're headed significantly higher into the close. We'll see. Um, but we took our profit at 54, our stop now is 50, 52 points below our entry. Boy, those couple trades trying to uh, pick the J period low and uh, or the K period low took uh, the majority of my morning profit out. That uh, as a killer for those things happen, uh, you gotta avoid those things. So we're uh, hoping that we can get this market up uh, and get some of the previous shorts from uh, 
Oh, what day was that? That day was uh, a while ago. 2-5. Get some of the shorts that initiated uh, the selling from the from this area, the 56s, all the way down to the uh, 17s. Um, a little concerned and get those guys to cover, it could push us into the gap above the deep period high. That's the case. If we can get back to the 63s and break up, we um, can see a, a nice run into the close. That was, that's what I was hoping to be part of. That's why we try to reposition so uh, um, frequently in the J period, K period low there with limited success, but we uh, have our stop and we're going to attempt to ride a rally into the close.